So when it comes to focus on quality, I know that you've applied this directly into what you do professionally. You probably have a certain number of tasks that you do and other things get delegated elsewhere because they're not in your zone of excellence and they are not going to be the best quality things that you can do with your precious time. The same approach must be applied when it comes to your fitness. The problem is most of us are marketed to looking for the next quick fix. We look for keto diets, we look for vegan diets, we look for um, how we can get six minute abs and all these different things. And while they were appealing because they because they really hit that, uh, that time sensitive aspect that we're all looking to do and maximize the time that we do have, they are very seldom going to be the answer for what you need to do. So here's exactly what you should do in terms of your training, in terms of your nutrition, in order to lose that stubborn body fat, look, feel, and perform your best. Each and every single time that you hit the gym, you should be tracking what you do. Much like you track key performance indicators in your job, you need to track what you're doing specifically in the gym. Primary reason, if your body does not have a reason to change, it's not going to change. And if you don't know exactly what you are doing in terms of your workouts, in terms of your diet, you're going to have one hell of a time making those long-term strategic changes and improvements into what you do. Remember, apply the same principle that you use in business directly into your body, and you're going to have such an easier time making those life-changing transformations. Next, strength training needs to be the primary focus when it comes to weight loss. Yes, I know cardio, it feels like you're burning more calories, and while you're doing it, you actually are. But when it comes to strength training, you're actually going to have a longer afterburn effect where your body's going to burn more calories over a 24-hour period to help you continue losing lean body fat. But here's what most people won't tell you. You see, when you build lean muscle, when you train in a way that's going to help build lean muscle and help you get stronger, it's actually going to provide a better overall hormonal profile. You're going to be more sensitive to insulin, meaning you can have more carbohydrates without gaining body fat. Your metabolism is going to stay stronger as you build more lean muscle because your muscle is going to be more metabolically demanding than body fat. So when you combine these factors into what you're doing, you should be tracking your, you should be getting into the gym three to four days per week for about 45 minutes, just like we teach our clients inside the Lean Executives Coaching Program, and then tracking just like we help you do on our coaching app to improve what you're doing on a gradual basis. Remember, it doesn't matter the quantity of everything that you're doing. What's more important is the quality of the work that you're putting in. But to really in ensure that you're having quality workouts, you need to actually track and assess and improve what you're doing on a regular basis, just like you would professionally. Now, I know that sounds like a lot. You have a lot on your plate already. So if you're looking for a simple strategic approach and would like me to be your coach at the touch of a button on your phone, we can do that. All you need to do is comment lean in the comments below, and I will tell you the simple next step to joining the Lean Executives Coaching Program. All right, hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.